What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Tuesday morning to you, and welcome to this little devotional series. We are starting your day off right with some encouraging words. I've got some really, really good ones today, kind of some famous words. Um, 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Um, I just want to encourage you today, uh, be fearless, be bold, be brave with whatever it is that God has called you to do. Wherever God is leading you, I just want you to be fearless. Um, you know, sometimes we've got these things in our life that we kind of just hold back. We're, we're not, as a matter of fact, the word here is, is used fear, but you could easily use the word intimidated, right? Some of us would say, well, I'm not afraid of that. But it's like, yeah, but we're a little intimidated by it, and so we're reluctant and we hesitate. And so I just want you to go and be bold and be fearless. And, and I think Paul gives some categories that we need to actually think about because he goes, hey, God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, right? And I thought, you know, some of us are afraid of, of taking on whatever step it is that God's calling us to because we have a fear of failure. And God's like, no, 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 don't worry about that. Fear of failure, that's ridiculous. I'm the one that's going to empower you. You're going to be just fine, right? And then I think for some of us, um, the step that we need to take maybe has to do with another person. And he, sometimes we're reluctant. And so because of that, we might fear rejection. We might fear hurt from that person. So he goes, no, no, no. I want you to know, not only did I give you a power, but I gave you love. I want you to know that you can go and step out because you're already fully loved and you don't have to hold back and protect and defend. You're already fully loved. And then the third one was you need a sound mind. Um, the reality is there are real things in the world to be afraid of, some natural things and some things that we need to pay attention to. And he goes, well, no, no, well, I just don't want you grippled or crippled by that fear. What I want you to do is use a sound mind, a mind that's grounded in the scriptures, a mind that seeks wisdom, a mind that processes things and just doesn't listen and do whatever and, and, and just believe whatever, but no, 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 through, through this, because sometimes the intimidating voice gets in your head and says, no, don't do that, hold back, hold back. And so, no, no, we're going to use a sound mind and use wisdom to make our decisions. And we never want fear to make our decisions for us. Can I get amen? Church, I love you today. Go and be bold and fearless. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.